welcome back to Grace's Room. So a lot of you guys seem to like my pet peeve video that I did and I really enjoyed making it. So today I thought that I'd talk about some of the little things that my parents do that annoy me. Don't get me wrong, my parents are the best, I love them, but sometimes they do little things every now and then that annoy me. And some of you guys might be able to relate to these too. So let's get on to it. The first thing that annoys me is when they guilt me into doing something. There are times where they'll give me a choice about something and they'll be like, no pressure, you can choose what you want. So then I choose what I want, but it's not what they wanted to hear. So then they make me feel guilty and then in the end I end up choosing what they want. So why even ask me at all? Wait, do you want to come to the supermarket with me or stay here? Uh, um, no pressure, whatever you like. Oh, okay, I might just stay home then. Fine, I'll go by myself. Okay, okay, I'll come. Do you guys ever hear the phrase, back in my day or when I was your age? I hear that all of the time. Whenever I'm doing something that might come across a bit lazy or something that my parents don't agree with, they'll come back with, well, back in our day. Well, wake up, it is 2019 now, things have changed, get with the program. Grace, what are you doing on your phone? Because there's nothing else to do. Back in our day, we used to play basketball, swimming, a little bit of tennis, down ball, gutter ball, riding our bikes, and playing with our friends. What's for dinner, Mum? I'm starving. We're having pasta. You know I don't like pasta. Well, back in our day, we had to eat whatever was in front of us. <sighs> Another thing that annoys me is when they catch you on your phone at the worst times. Isn't it annoying when you haven't been on your phone for the entire day and you just pick up your phone and all of a sudden you get the, are you on that again? And then you get a lecture about how you're always on your phone and like, seriously, I just picked it up. That is enough homework for today. Grace! What are you doing on your phone? But I just picked it up. You're always on your phone. Whenever I see you, you're on your phone. You've got to stop with the phone. How about when your parents make the biggest deal about the littlest things? Sometimes I'll drop a few crumbs on the table or I'll leave my shoes out and my parents will get very worked up about it. Like. Calm down, it's not the end of the world. Be careful, sweetie. I just finished cleaning the floor. Okay. Then there's times when my parents will compare me to everyone else in the world. They'll say, your cousin Mary's good at math, or Billy makes his own bed. Well, do I look like Mary or Billy? You don't see me comparing you to other parents. Anyway, well, Sandra makes her bed first thing in the morning. But I'm not Sandra. This one happens a lot. They will always call me for dinner and it's not even ready. I'll be doing my homework or doing something and they'll say dinner's ready multiple times. So I come downstairs, I have to stop what I'm doing and I'm sitting at the kitchen table for like 10 minutes. Like, why did you call me in the first place? I could have finished my homework by now. Coming! 
Mom, when's dinner gonna be ready? Um, another few things, minutes, it'll be ready. Are you serious? I couldn't finish my homework by now. Another annoying thing that my parents do is when they tell me that there's a big surprise waiting for me. They get me all excited and I think it's going to be something really great and it ends up being nothing. Well, I mean it's something, but it's definitely not worth getting excited for. Grace, I've got a surprise for you. What is it? What is it? Tell me. <gasps> maybe she bought me some chocolate. Or maybe some new clothes. <gasps> maybe we're going to Disney. Land. Tell me, tell me! Nectarines are back in season. Wow, that's terrific. This one happens just about every day when my parents can't hear me. They'll call out to me multiple times and I'll reply every single time but they just can't hear me and then they start to get really frustrated. I might have to get their ears checked. Because I said so, how many times do I hear that? Whenever I ask my parents to explain why I can't do something, they'll respond with, because I said so. That is not a valid answer. If I said that to them, they would not be happy. Dad, can I please go to Jessie's house? No, not now. But why? Because I said so. That's not an answer. Why can't I go? Because I said so. <sighs> what about when your parents ask you for your opinion about something, so you help them make the choice, and then they end up choosing the exact opposite to what you chose? Like they already made up their mind before they asked me. Why did you even ask me in the first place? Hey Grace, which dress should I wear? The blue one or the black one? I think the blue one will look good on you. Actually, I might go with the black one. Why even ask me? Well, those are all the things that my parents do that annoy me. Honestly, if I have kids, I'll probably be guilty of doing a few of these things myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.